The main problem client was facing about adding customization feature to site for tees and mugs. Uh, current website was created using GoDaddy website builder which has just limited option and there is not any option for extending functionality. So we need to uh, give him the recommendation about the customization of the products and uh, basically this is not made for e-commerce website. So uh, this must be discarded for the future possibilities. The other problem we can say the design is up to the level if we compare with the present e-commerce website. So uh, by making the website from GoDaddy website, uh, this has just the limited options. Uh, so for the above problem following question needed to be answered. So we have to give him the answer for the four questions. First one, what kind of options are available for customization solutions? We are giving him some recommendations about the uh, customization solutions. In the second one, what are the frameworks available? Right now, what are the famous website which uh, uh, what they are using um, frameworks? And what are the features? So what are the features for the frameworks which are beneficial for the client? and what will be the cost estimation and effective marketing strategies. So right now, like uh, if he wants to get a very good benefits, so we are giving him very good recommendation about the estimation, uh, budget estimation and uh, advertisement um, techniques and um, some marketing strategies as well. Moving on the user stories. From problem identifying, following user stories were created. First one, as an owner, I want to know the available solution for customization of products and uh, like tees and mugs. Second, as an owner, I want to know about the frameworks that are available for e-commerce solution in term of website and in uh, mobile app as well and effective design st strategies. So in our project, we have also uh, created one mobile app which we, which could be the very good uh, for the client and third one as an owner I want to know about the budget estimation of project and various marketing strategies that may be useful for running the business so these are the three user stories which we are following in our project thanks Monica for sharing screen so for our project we have adopted a giant methodology it is a process in which a team can manage its project by dividing into several parts along with this one continuous collaboration with the stakeholder and making changes at when required at every stage so continuous collaboration with stakeholder and the team member takes them to the fully controlled decision and we have also made literature review and for getting more deep insights along this along this one we have watched videos over sources like youtube for more clarification Let's move to the next slide. Our project was developed. In this one, we have adopted a giant methodology. Along with this one, we have collected the requirement from the client side. After that, we have divided our work into three stages or three sprints. That is finding different customization solution. Second one is framework design and recommendations. Another one is budget estimation and marketing weight. Let's move to next screen. the development of sprints we have explored multiple areas in which the teacher view was developed by our members we have searched articles from the fed uni and the google scholar after that we have explored different websites for analyzing present solution and we search 8 to 10 websites who are currently dealing with the customization after that one we have also worked on the app development exploring online resources for finding information so that we can develop an app as well. Let's move to next slide. Thanks, Monica and Aman for heading back to me to, to continue the presentation. Uh, this is nothing but a detailed description of the content, which is an evidence of research of process and rigor in development. Uh, we use an app called Trello. This is an example for individual work and the teamwork for managing the work. So that's like what work need to be done and what's going to be done and what it's going to be pending. So if the individual has done this, so the next process like it's what he's need to do. So uh, when it comes to 
for example if you take a white empty board that's saying that we need to do write this one like saying that we need to work out on this one and you need to work it this is not that li like that so it's so you can see this is an example for the trello so this is like managing the group work this slide is a description of the content which is like managing the client knowledgeable about the real customizable solution available over internet this is nothing but like customizing the product when it comes to the framework options and the features it's like what kind of designs or like what kind of frameworks uh, the app is having or like what when it comes to the cost estimation for developing e-commerce solution it come it it is nothing but like what kind of verifications or like what kind of uh, validations uh, the customer required it depends upon like what kind of designs they want when it comes to the effective marketing strategies this is depends upon the social media or so like google app stores or app stores this is nothing but the social media so like how it's going to be spread this slide is a detailed description of the content which is like usefulness of the product which is like verification and validation it's nothing but comparing the product with the user stories it can be achieved by doing verification and validation during the development of the product software testing its fundamentals and verification is nothing but making the right product at the right time validation means nothing but make use of right product thanks for giving this opportunity one of my our team member will continue his name is ranjit Thank you guys for continuing the presentation so far. Now I will move with the verification of the product. As Shahid has stated that we can use verification or validation for the uh, for checking whether our recommendation will work for the client or not. But verification or validation are more suitable for the software product to test whether it works according to the client requirement or not. But our product is not kind of the software one. So how we are going to check that our recommendations will work for the client or not. For that we can use the term triangulation. Triangulation means that if we can, if we are searching for any particular problem from the multiple resources and the result of all resources come approximately same, then we can say that our recommendations will work for the client. And we have practically applied this process as well. I will talk about that process in the my next slide. So what we have done for the practical we have taken the many features that are essential for the e-commerce solution and we have taken the rating from the scale of 1 to 10 from the many people like Dr. Andrew, Dr. Cameron Foley and Andrew Chandri and even our all team members have participated into the research. We, are ta we have taken that uh, rating against these features based on some criteria, based on some criteria like a technical feasibility, cost benefit analysis and uh, contribution to critical success and overall benefit of these features to the e-commerce solution. And you can see that uh, the features all have the results rating from them more than uh, more than an average, I mean more than five or six. So in this way, we can say that all these features are varied and surely will work for the client. Now I will move to the next slide. That will prove, prove whether our product will verify the user stories or not. Surely we can say that our product will verify the user stories. How? Like in our first sprint, we researched about the different customizable uh, solutions that are available on the internet for the customizable teas and mugs. And for we have made the, all that recommendation based upon that research and based on the literature review which, uh, which other team members had done. In our second sprint, we considered about different kinds of framework that are available on the internet that can be used to construct the e-commerce solution. So we have considered all those frameworks and we made the recommendations about uh, all the frameworks and design recommendations as well by using the similar strategy, exploring the websites and using the literature review. In our third sprint, we have considered about the budget estimation and marketing strategy that Simply Magical Celebration can use to target their customers and grow in their business. In this slide, I will talk about important funding that I have found during my all the research over the three sequence. The first and foremost uh, the important feature is the customizable solution. So e-commerce solution must be customizable. It should not have some kind of uh, limited boundary. It, it must work beyond that boundaries according to the feature requirement. So this must be the capability of the e-commerce solution. The next one is the better product view. Each product must have its own category. Teas must have its own category and mugs must have its own category and so on. Two products or two or more products must not mix with each other on the single page. The next one is the guest checkout. The guest checkout functionality allows the customer to check out from, their web, from the website without saving their details onto the website database. This feature is also an important part. 
the next one is the secure shopping secure shopping is almost most critical aspect of the e-commerce solution and it must be provided as a service to the customer at the at the present time mostly hackers try to theft the valuable information like the credit card information so ssl certificate must can be used to provide the security to the customers another features like simple function simple checkout functionality interactive design easy customer support are better for the business growth now the team members will talk about their findings thank you the total presentation is nothing but the important findings this was split into three works sprint one sprint two sprint three and the sprint one is mainly focused on product customization when it comes to sprint three or like sprint two a mobile application feasibility technological stack development phases sprint three marketing strategies for mobile app number of hours required cost estimation when it comes to sprint one this is nothing but uh, we need to use the right product or like what kind of like designs or like what kind of customizations to be used in uh, the product or like for the designs and uh, this one is nothing but we can use a different process like it's asp.net application uh, this one is nothing but so we can just run and select the product or design the product customize the product and check out and sprint 2 is nothing but it's nothing but so we can use two different kind of technologicals when it's for android or for one is and for ios so we can use two two different kind of languages uh, for android is nothing but java or kotlin when it comes to ios it's shift or object to c when it comes to sprint 3 marketing strategies it's nothing but spreading the social media or like um, it's like mobile applications or like viewing the social sites or uh, it's this one can be downloaded through App Store or like uh, Google Play Stores. This is nothing but number of hours. When it comes to the basic one, it's it's like the hours is much lesser. When it comes to the complexity, it's the hours is more required. When the customers see, uh, required like more kind of uh, designs or like uh, different kind of varieties, it, it is nothing but it's the complexity. When it comes to the cost estimation, it's compared to the number of hours as well. When it comes to the basic one, it's much cheaper. When it comes to the complexity, it's much higher. And thanks for giving this opportunity. Uh, thank you. So far from our research, we have came here for important findings that helps to us implement it. First one is customization theme reflection, in which Simply Magical can target tourist industry in the Ballarat and can it can be fruitful for it. Tourists can enjoy customization, personalization, mugs, coffee, and another one t-shirt as well. Along with this one, Simply Magical can target rental industry for exploring in local business and marketing its product on, products on these sites. After this one, another finding is framework and design considerations. In this one, Simply Magical has to consider social functions and economical factors when they are developing the framework because Ballarat is surrounded by the local area and the towns. And apart from this one, they can develop database that have at least three backups, offline, two offline, one online. Another one is marketing scenario. In marketing scenario, Simply Magical can target small and digital videos that consist of animation stuff that in which customer can easily grasp the idea what Simply Magical wants to say them. Another one is loyalty card. We can see in course Woolworth loyalty card is like running successfully. So we can adopt this method as well. Last one is data manipulation. Data manipulation is very important for the Simply Magical because Simply Magical needs to know the taste of the customer and preferences and their dislikes, likes. So this can be done by the Rapid Miner, some of the tools, Orange, Rapid Miner, Open Refine, Tableau Public that can mine the information of the customer from social media like Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram and many more. After this one, some of the new ideas available because Simply Magical is dealing with coffee mugs and t-shirts. They can also look into the kitchenware products and de long lasting decorative products and other products as well. Thank you. And now I am sharing screen with Ranjit or Now I am moving to the important findings. I have found many articles related to the customization, design and framework and advertisement or marketing techniques. 
as we know that customization is a main part of our project so we have to give him recommendation about the customization as we know that designing of uh, the website makes the customer attract to shopping for their loved ones and the article tells us a very right techniques to increase the outcomes and the mass uh, customization of simple magical celebration have to implement uh, every website should have to be ready for the risk and uh, they have to adopt the agile approach so risk is a basically about the demand and availability of the product and how long that product could take to the deliver to the customer's house and uh, as everybody know product uniqueness is a driver of the customer's utility in mass customization uh, which is rely on the service and design of the particular product Mobile application is a very useful for the customer. Our one of the group member recommended uh, the mobile application and which can be very easy and very effective to enhance the business in a small town. So advertisement is also a very important part because by advertisement we can attract the customer and by giving them a many choices and many other options to shop from our own websites. So development of uh, a web service is based uh, on the technique is design optimization framework and that gives uh, many options to the customer to choose the right product. So this could be a very self-sufficient uh, execution strategy uh, which can work through web-based. And uh, this was all about our presentation. Hope you guys like it. Thank you so much.